Hey, this is Hans from Dakota Angler and Outfitter. In this video, we're going to tie the Ostrich Marabou Bugger. Been using these a lot lately and had a lot of success with them, both as a trout spay fly and just a regular streamer. Uh, but the Ostrich Marabou makes a really nice full tail, has a lot of movement, and, and the Marabou itself is very durable. I'm tying this fly on a size 8 Gamagatsu B10S. Nice wide gap. I've got a tungsten bead, 530 seconds on the front. You can change the size of the hook if you like. Um, make it a little bigger, a little smaller. This is the size I've been using a lot of. I just take my thread to the back of the hook. Now I've got a version here that I was using on the Bighorn when we were there last, and it worked really well. So I'm going to tie that version here. It's a yellow and ginger version. I'm going to take my yellow fibers that I've I've stripped off of the, the stem, tie those in here at the back with a few wraps. I like the tail pretty long on this fly. I'm going to grab some ginger fibers now to stack on top. those ready and tie those over the top. One thing I've been doing with a lot of my leech patterns and bugger patterns is just flanking the tail with a couple red strands of uh, marabou and the ostrich trail marabou is really nice for this because it's easy to get your strand selected. So I got three strands here. Just gonna tie in my three strands on one side of the hook. The red just adds a little trigger, I think. Grab my other three. Put those in on the far side of the tail. Last thing we'll do then is just add a little bit of flash. You don't need a ton here, just a couple strands on either side. So I've got some longer strands of crystal flash I'll tie down on the near side. Then fold over, tie down on the far side. And if there's any extra length there, you can trim that. Okay, so now I'm gonna take some wire this is just copper wire, small. Tie that in. And then I'm going to take yellow ice dubbing or SLF prism dubbing. Dub that on the thread. Start out with a little thinner so I can cover up the bump at that tie in point there. Just wrap that forward. And covering up your your bump and then tapering as you go. When you get to the bead, you can do your hackle. I've been doing two different types of hackle. You can run just a standard bugger hackle or like a whiting soft tackle. Depending on the look of the fly, if you want a little softer, kind of buggier look, go with the soft tackle. This one I'll do some whiting bugger hackle. Just tie that in at the front here. I've stripped away some of the stem. Make a complete wrap at the front. Maybe two just for good luck. Wrap back to the back. And then switch hands there and 
wrap over it with your wire and just work your wire through counter wrapping each of those hackle wraps and wiggle it as you're going through each turn of your your hackle to make sure you're not trapping down a lot of those fibers and get up to the bead tie it off Just get your wire out. One trick is just to wiggle it and then it'll break right at your thread. Sneak in there and trim out your hackle. And now you can whip finish. And there you go. Just a little micro bugger, but it's been um, very effective on the smaller streams and tailwaters we've fished it on so far. A lot of movement in that tail. Kind of a new material for a lot of people to play around with, but it's become one of my favorite small streamers. Tie some up, give it a try.